You don't need more. You just need God's blessing on what you've already got. You don't need more. You just need God's blessing on your five and two, girl. That's all you need. You know what his blessing is? It's his favor. Y'all, favor is what makes the scales balance over in your favor. Favor is what makes things a little bit unfair on your behalf. Favor is what opens doors that nobody can shut. Favor is what puts you in positions that nobody can take away. Favor is what sets you before kings and queens. The favor of God is what you want on your life. I came to tell somebody who's got a multitude pressing on you in your marriage or in your finances or in your health or in your parenting or in your singleness, that thing is weighing down on you. That means that there is a drawer waiting to be opened. That means there's some treasure waiting to be unveiled. And when you take it out, finally, when you stop ignoring it, when you stop circumventing it, when you stop acting like God hasn't given you everything you need, when you will finally recognize this little bit, this little gifting, this little talent, this little time, this little money, this little dream, this little vision, that this is all I need if I'll just pull it out and entrust it to the hands of a multiplying master. Can I just show you real quick what the disciples did? Just real quick, because I think it's interesting because it's so us. They said to Jesus in verse 12, send the multitude away. <laughs> and here's the thing that's so us. See, we don't just say it, we pray it. We pray away what we don't even recognize is the gift He has given us to press us into opening up our drawer. So if you pray for your multitude to be taken away and in God's sovereignty He has left it in your life, that means there's a drawer. There's a drawer. Start, start looking for a drawer. If there's a multitude, that means there's loaves and fish somewhere in your life that is supposed to be entrusted into the hands of God. So we pray away. Did you realize in verse 12, they are wishing away what in verse 11, Jesus welcomed. Jesus welcomed what they're wishing.